hey some ninjas welcome back to class so today we'll be talking about the basic laws of arithmetic as you all know we have the basic arithmetic operations which are addition subtraction multiplication and division and we know that subtraction is the inverse the reverse of addition while division is the reverse of multiplication what do i mean the reverse of two is what minus two that's the opposite three over one the reverse is one over three so the reverse of addition is subtraction and the reverse of multiplication is the division what are these basic laws that arithmetic um obeys we have the commutativity associativity and distributivity so i'm going to explain what these things are about and then you get to know right so for commutativity in a case where we have three plus five commutativity says that you can reverse this under addition and multiplication please take note so 3 plus 5 is 8 is the same as 5 plus 3 would also give you 8 now let's do something else 3 times 5 is what can also be reversed to 5 times 3 it's the same thing so 3 times 5 is 15 and 5 times 3 is also 15 but now let's try in a case for subtraction let's try a case of subtraction and see if we would get the same thing so in a case where you have 3 minus 5 is it the same thing as 5 minus 3 let's see so 3 minus 5 is what minus 2 5 minus 3 is what 2 they are not the same let's try for division so division let's say 3 divided by 5 is it the same as 5 divided by 3 let's use a calculator 0 0.6 and then 5 divided by 3 is what 1.66 let's say 7 0 0.6 is not the same as 1.667 so what does this tell us this tells us that commutativity only applies for the addition and multiplication operation it doesn't apply for the division and subtraction operation do you understand that you can only reverse that's what commutativity is about it's about reversing the numbers so if you say 2 plus 3 it's the same as saying 3 plus 2 interchanging it with the positive sign would still give you the answer so 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 2 is also 5 so only the addition and multiplication operation obeys the commutativity rule the division and subtraction doesn't obey because when you reverse these things they don't give you the same answer but when you do the same for here it gives you the same answer I hope you understood the commutativity rule now let's move to the associative rule and see what it's about associativity was gotten from the word associate it means you are able to mingle <laughs> yeah so let's see this is the same as bringing three into the bracket and leaving five outside understand that the figures are not changed you only change the bracket positioning so these two is with three now and five is left alone that's the only thing that changed that's how associativity works the bracket just changes the people inside it <laughs> we're imagining them to be people okay that's fine so now let's solve this left and right hand side and see if we'll get the same answer so three plus we know the rules of operation bracket first two plus five is equal to three plus two so 3 plus 7 is what 10 5 plus 5 is what 10 so associativity holds under the addition operation now let's try the multiplication at home and let us know what you got did they actually have the same answers on the left and the right hand side that way we're able to know if it was associative now understand that this also applies as the commutativity rule division and subtraction isn't associative when you use the division and subtraction operation you wouldn't get the same answer on the left and right that's just what it's trying to say 
minus so minus five is minus three by now you already know this if you do not know how to do the addition and subtraction of integers please check our previous videos the link will be here and you'll catch up with us because we already discussed that before this so three minus two is one minus five so you know you have to do the signs minus times minus is plus so three plus three is one minus five do you see the subtraction operation doesn't obey the associativity rule it is not <laughs> it is not an operation to be used for associativity it's only the addition and multiplication that works for both associativity and commutativity and understand the differences in these operations yeah so now let's go to the distributive rule <laughs> Now, what is a distributive rule? A distributive rule is simply saying you have to do, it's just your normal multiplication. When you're about to open this bracket, what would you do? Three times everything in this bracket, meaning three times four plus three times five. That's just what it means. So for distributivity, let's solve. You have three times four to be 12 plus 3 times 5 is 15 so your answer is 27 right how is this called this is said that multiplication is distributed over addition meaning you have to multiply each term over addition i hope that made sense so if we were to do the reverse case you would have it like this 4 plus 5 times 3 do you see just this coming here and this coming here so this is four times three four times three plus five times three five times three so you have four times three is twelve five times three is fifteen you have twenty seven do you see this gave the same answer this is written like this and it was reversed let's try multiplication over subtraction so three times four minus five so instead of four plus five let's try four minus five so you know that you distribute by saying three times four three times four then minus three times five do you see that so three times four is twelve minus 3 times 5 is 15 so this is minus 3 right now let's try the reverse case so we're going to do what we're going to pick 4 then times 3 minus 5 times 3 we're distributing multiplication over the um, subtraction in the reverse way so this is 12 minus 15 and that's minus 3 this tells us now for distributivity that multiplication can be distributed for both addition and subtraction because you see we got the same answer minus three minus three for the reverse cases for subtraction and we got the same answer 27 27 for reverse cases of addition i hope that made sense so in this case we'll say that multiplication is, div is distributed over subtraction from the left and then multiplication is distributed over subtraction from the right. Do you see? This is your left, this is your right, this is your left, this is your right. So it's distributed from the right, from the left, and then from the... It's distributed from the right and from the left, whichever way you see your hands, okay? <laughs> Sorry about the noises in the background, okay? Now let's distribute more um, addition over division. So you have 60 divided by 5 plus 15 divided by 5 right so 60 divided by 5 is 12 plus 15 divided by 5 is 3 so you get 15 so now we see that division can be distributed from the left right so do this at home and let's see if you get the same answer as 15 that's division being distributed over um addition right we did the one that distributed from the left so you try the one that is distributed from the right 
or however you see your left and right hand side we all use different left and right hand side so i can't really tell but from my left i did mine so you do yours from your right and let's see okay so i hope you were able to get something about the basic laws of arithmetic yeah we said that the operations that we know the basic ones addition subtraction multiplication and division and then we did the laws which are uh, okay now i need you to note something we have more laws of arithmetic but these are the basic ones yeah we have the identity inverse etc but for now you need to know this commutativity distributivity and associativity know their differences so that when you see questions where you are being asked to identify which is which you know which they are talking about okay i hope you understood what we did today please do not forget to give this video a like because it helps um others to see the video as you have seen it okay and they're able to learn as you have learned so leave your answer in the comment section as always and share to your friends so they can subscribe to join the family until next class bye Hey, hey, so today.